Hello and welcome to a new Raggies uh, Beers, Wines and Spirits review from the uh, rather new look beer room and I'm on the other side of the beer room although I'm not quite sure whether the camera's a little bit high I think I've put the, uh, I think I've screwed it in a bit too much so if you look there, to, I if you can see it in this light so to there I've got a beach scene there I don't know if you can see, is that, I think the light might be putting it off actually you can see some of it, I'm sure you can and then obviously that looks a bit more neater now, sort of that. And then a few things on the back wall. And uh, here we go. That looks better as well. And I've moved them chuffing things that I kept clunking my head on. I've moved them as well. So I might have to take this down and just adjust the height again. And uh, sort out the um, phone as well. My phone's not quite in the right place. It's one of them things, isn't it? Tweaking things, and uh, I've, I've just seen how to do it, but I'll, I'll have to take it down and redo it. So anyway, today you're going to be reviewing Eagle Brewery Banana Bread Beer. Now, if you think to yourself, I don't know, mate, didn't Rose and Young make that? They did. And then uh, I presume that uh, Marston's, there must have been some selling or some things happened, and... Uh, so anyway, it's a Marston's owned brewery, Eagle Brewery, and uh, it's the classic really. 5.2% on ratebeer.com. It's got a rating of 2.97 out of 5, mostly for the Wells Banana Bread, to be fair. And that's from 1,484 ratings, so it's a well-liked beer. Let's give it a pour, and let's see how we go. Now, much like in the beer room like this, it's uh, it's a lot better. Just got to get the height sorted out on this camera. Because I have to put it up to my bloody head to show you it. Yeah, definitely got to get the height sorted out. And he's dropping down a few inches. It's a lovely colour to it, lovely amber colour. Uh, just slightly off white head. Thick head on it as well. Aroma, banana. And that's from here, you know, from, from a, f a foot away, 18 inches away. So you know what you're getting. I mean, it is what it says on the tin, really. Lovely banana flavour. Oh. So, obviously, it's the bank holiday today, bank holiday Monday, tomorrow. Most people are back. At work. I've got another day off, actually. I booked another day off. And uh, as you do, always have, a, always have a day or so extra either side of Easter, or sometimes I try and make it a full week. But uh, I don't want to spend too much of this just yet in the year. As you can see, the sun's out, it's glorious. Um, and it's, and uh, I've got a beach behind me, hey, hey, flipping heck. What more can you say? What more can you want? It feels like being on a beach, with it being so warm, it actually feels like you're on a beach. And uh, yeah, I've got to sort this out. I'm not happy with it at all. So it says here, the dark golden coloured ale hugs the palate with great intensity. Its multi aroma is complemented by the gentle nose of banana. Its flavour unfolds with a sensual sparkle and a smart crispness, which balances its aroma perfectly. Tropically fruity, it's ripe banana flavour, emphasised by a hint of bitterness, comes from the addition of a real fair trade bananas and finishes with an emphatic steely dryness. And the recipe from 2005 dropped it down to 5.2. God knows why they do things like that. It does my nutting. <laughs> so somebody here, um, they've got 4.4 .4 out of 5 and it says it, my favourite beer, getting harder to get, as to have changed to another banana beer that isn't as nice called Eagle. Bloody hell, people just aren't clued up are they? <sighs> another one, 4.2. I love this beer but I found that the quality doesn't stay consistent. Not sure what it is, but sometimes the banana comes through real strong and other times it's almost non-existent. Strange. So, another one. 
all from this year. Aroma, banana and malt appearance, flathead, sudsy lacing, dark amber and clear, flavours, light toffee malt, hot bitter balance and banana, palette, finishes li lightly dry and banana, obviously, you know. So, just, that's, that's it. I'll be straining up to reach the bloody camera. Yep, yeah, definitely got to swap that out. I like, I like that it's getting the bar behind me. I like that. And I've even got optics now. Although I bought, I bought two and broke one already, so that's a pain in the arse. But uh, only four quid, I suppose. It's more for the feature of it. I, I don't really come in here drinking, you know, in the shed as it were, in the beer room. Hence the name, you know, you think you would, wouldn't you? But. Uh, yeah, one of these days I might have a row of optics with all the proper bottles and uh, get them all lined up, about 20 optics. Now that would be good. Although they're not the easiest things, unless you've got the kit. I didn't have the kit, all I bought was the optic. So I had to talk, sort of make uh, a, a way of doing it to, to hold it up. Because obviously you can, you can screw it in, but then you can't get the fucking bottle in, can you? You know, which obviously isn't good. But I sorted it out, put some wood underneath, screws either side to hold it and then something just to push across to hold it in place. And then finally with, with a bit of, uh, just a bit of twine just to stop it from coming off. Because I'm sitting here early and I can hear it starting to move and I'm thinking, bloody hell, don't want a litre of vodka all over the floor and all over the TV in front below it. So as nice as it's ever been. So what it is, obviously Eagle Brewery have took over the Charles Wells, or Wells and Young as it used to be. They they were responsible for the Bombardier range, obviously. Um, oh, I've lost it all of a sudden. The sticky toffee pudding, the banana bread, and there's a couple of others that they did as well. And uh, Earlier this year, obviously Bombardier got changed. The branding was changed, and they thought, "What the hell's going on here? Why is the branding changed to Bombardier?" And obviously, the patriotic Bombardier, you know, maybe they ain't got the license into that. And uh, there's more to it than meets the eye with a lot of these things. You know, it's not always about the fact that they're dropping that iconic uh, licensing. It's probably the fact that they can't use it anymore, more than likely. And uh, anyway, I contacted them a few weeks ago, and uh, there's there's a possibility we might get Bombardier Colonel's Reserve in bottle again. Now that would be awesome, you know. Fingers crossed that somebody at Eagle Brewery high up uh, sees this. I contacted their Facebook page, and somebody on the Facebook page says, "Yeah, we've got the recipe." So who knows? Let's let's just hope that we get it. So. Gotta say, one of my all-time favourites. I'm glad to see it hasn't disappeared because obviously, when new people take over certain brands, uh, there's always that chance that it could disappear because it might not fit in with their, you know, fit in with what they're doing, you know. And uh, luckily, we haven't lost an iconic beer. So banana on the nose, banana on the taste, a little bit of malt, and essentially that's it, it's just a banana beer. And uh, for me, good to have some fruity beers. The sticky toffee pudding ale beer, that's nice as well, you know, if you like your fruity stuff. You know, um, some people just won't like it, it'd be too sweet for them, it is sweet, you know. If anything, the banana tastes a little bit more intense today than it has done. Um, is that the heat? Because obviously it's warm at the moment. I mean, what is it today in here? It's 25 degrees in here. So, you know, it's warm. This is warm because obviously it's been in the shed, in the bare room, and uh, it's warm anyway. So that might be the reason why it tastes even more intense. Because certain beers, 
taste better warm certain beers taste better colder and this is definitely a beer that I think is a warmer beer you know warmer tasting beer better for warmer there's obviously all your golden ales always and lagers especially always better colder well majority of time at least so yeah Nah, I haven't decorated, I haven't put wallpaper up in for the next 20 years. And I've got to say, this was an absolute shitbag to put up. Um, pardon my French. Absolute swine. Oh, God, it's a waste. Yeah. And uh, I overlapped it to go into the ceiling. Just to give you that, like a panoramic you know, view, and uh, it's different, it cheers it up a bit anyway, if I ever come and sit in here, which I don't really, you know, it's more of a room to do beer reviews and put my beers in, but if I do fancy some peace and quiet on my own, without the rest of the family, it's certainly, I've certainly got that room for it, especially if you want to watch Marvel films without anybody there, sit on the settee, put the TV on, and blast away some good film, might be that afternoon, you never know. So, um, to break it down, um, <coughs> obviously the bottle, very bright looking bottle now, better than the new old bottle I think. Um, Bit more cartoony with the uh, banana with the beer coming out, but uh, amber body, white head, good aroma of banana, good taste of banana. There's malt there, uh, carbonation lacing was there because obviously you wouldn't have such a big, a massive head if you didn't. Taste more intense, whether it's the heat or whether it's the flavouring, whether they've just slightly upped. The intensity on the um, banana, since they got the recipe, because let's be fair, they can get the recipe off Wells and Young, and they might have thought, hmm, we need to just tweak the banana flavouring. So I think it's been, I think it, it might be the temperature, but I think it's been tweaked up a bit, and it showed up, because it's a pretty, it, you know, it's very decent. As for out of five, hmm, I'm going to give it, 4.4 out of 5. Not actually, not quite a top 10 or anywhere near the top 10. You know, top 30 probably. But uh, yeah, it's a good beer. Um, for me, if I was going to improve it, I'd bring out a reserve version of it. Something around the 7% mark. Slightly bit more maltier. Uh, keep that banana as it is. The banana's fine. Slightly bit more maltier. And, uh, you know, but as it is, damn decent beer. Thanks for watching. See you soon.